Yo, what's going on, guys? And today, my co-worker, Michael Scotto, is reporting that Tyus Jones, yes, could be a guy signed and traded to the Clippers. He's the top free agent remaining in free agency, and he continues to receive interest from several teams. But what we're hearing is the Clippers are interested in Tyus Jones. Now, the idea is that they could offer a combination of P.J. Tucker and Russell Westbrook, with draft pick compensation or Bones and Heinlein to the Washington Wizards for helping to facilitate a potential sign and trade. When the Clippers re-signed James Harden, added Kevin Porter Jr. and acquired Chris Dunn, Bones Highland became expendable, sources told Hoops Hype. And Jones, who turned 28 this past season, started all 66 games. He played and he had a career high 12 points field goal percentage of 48 percent 41 percent from three and seven and a half assists he's one of them probably like one of the safest options in terms of at least elite backup point guards or bridge starters and my assumption if we had to look at this if you're you're wondering what could this deal look like i do think just Looking from the, the outside in, I would not be surprised if I'll pull up the trade machine right now for us just to, to, to show what we're kind of like thinking in terms of what this would look like. As I think it's, 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 it's dependent. I think we already know what the framework would be. I just think what's the compensation and almost how, how much are they paying Tyus? Like, I'm curious, out of just full-on curiosity, how much are you paying Tyus Jones? Like, when does it become exuberant? So, if we're doing it here, which I think I re regrettably put this on the... Oh, this worked way quicker than it normally does, but let's go over here to the Clippers and assign and trade for Tyus Jones. So, you can only take half the salary back when in a sign and trade. So that would mean you would have to, I also think we just lost power, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, we just, power's back. But in a si signing trade, anything like this would, one second, we're going to have to do a little bit of maneuvering, ladies and gentlemen, because the power went out as we were doing the trade machine. So to do this, we got to use a little finagling, but... I do think it's interesting when we look at the current situation, like I said, with the Wizards, you have to take back, you can only take back half the salary you trade. So does that mean Tyus Jones is going to be traded for $30 million worth of salary or $28 million worth of salary? I feel like that's rather high for him as much as I love Tyus. Because if you're telling me you got yourself... Bones Highland, PJ Tucker, and Russell Westbrook, which is ironic if Russell Westbrook is going back to DC. Clearly, he would be bought out, but the irony would be that, of course, he goes back to DC. Now, it has to be a three year deal if you are going to sign and trade Mr. Tyus Jones. That's just how it works. Now, they're saying based on performance, he should be getting $6.5 million. I, he's coming off a deal where he was making like 14, 15. So my question is, and I want to know if, can, would it be 10? I'm thinking it has to be 10. Like Tyus Jones is a solid player. And I know like free agency has been murdered, but like still three year, like $31 million deal. Oh, that does work so and it's actually a deal that works out for both parties they would be taking back i guess they would be 9.1 so i guess if we added six million dollars more which would be two million dollars onto each additional year i believe would be i guess this is no it's technically what if we did this this is my question can they do it? Because now this deal becomes a three-year, 
49.7 and they can still do this so now my next assumption is 19 million dollars i just want to see what's the cap in terms of monetarily what they can take but i think at this point this is the deal i'm fine with bones taking bones but at the same time i'd rather have picks but they can still do it at 19. now will this deal work if it's at 28 because if it's true you can only take half not true but if we're we're, on, we're operating under the guideline that they can only trade half the salary that they're taking back that means it has to be 28 because they're sending i mean they're technically sending us 19.7 so let's undo this and go right here no that's what i thought so you would have to put bones back into this deal and this deal would be capped at 28 so the most money tyus jones can do from what i just read real quickly is you throw in bones highland here and i basically from my understanding is zero 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 so we'll just put this all the way through and from what I'm understanding is if we give him a three-year $28 million deal, this is the most you can do. Tyus Jones could technically sign a three-year $84 million deal and be signed and traded for PJ Tucker, Bones Highland, and Russell Westbrook. Would you do that deal? I don't know. 